Welcome back, fuckers. Alrighty, in today's video, we are back into the DCS Liberation 5.1. I'm sure it's uh, been updated a few more times, but we're going to keep running this one through until I finish this campaign, then we'll update to the latest version of Liberation, so we're continuing our naval campaign. Um, it's been a, been a hot minute since we've done any Liberation, just because... I don't know. I don't know why I kind of stopped doing it, but um, we're going to get back into it today. So having a look at where we left off. All right. We uh, I do believe, I haven't even checked the video, but I do believe we uh, try to do a, a runway attack and try and take out these runways at Bandar Abbas, uh, decommission them so that we couldn't lose any more AI cap fighters because they suck ass against F4s. Tomcats were getting smoked. But since the last video that I did, there has been some changes to AI BVR behavior. So we're going to put it in the, uh, the, the hands of the DCS gods, and we're going to hope that the Tomcats now actually fly and shoot the enemy AI cap with their brain. Okay, they've actually got a bit of a brain now. So apparently they're a lot better. They're apparently their AI cap or AI BVR fighting techniques is a lot more realistic and they actually fight a little bit smarter instead of uh, we saw in the previous videos them uh, flying pretty much to the merge against an F4 when they're in a Tomcat and they've still got uh, Phoenixes fitted to the aircraft. There's, you have no business doing that stuff. If you uh, still had Phoenixes, why are you going to the merge against an F4? It makes no sense. So we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. So keeping that in mind, we are not going to worry about taking out the airfield on this sortie. If it all goes to shit, then we're going to go back to uh, good old try and take out the airfields to get rid of the aircraft. But today, we're going to just be doing some, uh, some cleanups. We're going to take out some SAMs, trying to get ourselves prepared for the next phase, which is going to be uh, pushing the FOB or pushing the front line up towards the next FOB, which is FOB. I'm even going to try and say that name. Konishana Shahara. Yeah, that name. All right, so the, uh, the front line, we did capture the FOB here, and we're pushing up now. We've got 109 million uh, budget. So let's have a quick squeeze and have a look at our stock. So we've got two Hawkeyes, we've got 12 Tomcats, 12 F-18s, and we have four tankers available, okay, which is nice. Um, so let's... Get ourselves looking at the front line here. What do we got? So we've got eight lavs, eight uh, hummers with a heavy machine gun, seven hummers with tow, eight APCs, some uh, some Vulcan air defense, 18 M1A2 Abram tanks, and six MLRS systems. So let's buy, we've got 109 million, so let's buy a couple more. Uh, I think we'll buy, hmm, hmm. I do want to get some more of those at some stage because they are pretty handy. And these truck M818 six times. That's, I do believe, a, uh, an ammunition truck. So let's just buy a couple of them just because they're going to come in on the next round. Because um, if that is the case, they will help reload our uh, MLRS once they run out of ammunition. I, I would uh, understand that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Um, and what do we got? 100 million remaining. So, I'd want to get get a couple more of these, a couple more tow missiles coming in. Um, so we'll just get three, so we'll get 10 total. Um, not really worried about those, maybe a couple more lavs. Don't worry about APCs, and we got 62 mil remaining. Hmm, what else can we do? Do we have any defenses? We don't have any SAMs. What can we get? Chaparral, a Hawksite, Vulcan, or a Patriot. Ooh, a Hawksite would be handy. What's that? 104 million. Okay, okay. Well, let's do this then. Let's not buy that. Any of that stuff. Okay, we'll buy one, one of them. So we've got 106 million. Lovely. And we're going to buy a Hawksite. We're going to put it right here. Hawksite. Buy. So we have got some air defenses to help our AI in case they do start getting stupid. Um, it's going to help protect our front line as well. So we're going to buy that. Buy. Boom. Hawksite. Operational. Lovely. We have a hawk. 
in the area. Let's see the LISM air defenses. Alrighty, so we've got some. Okay, so we've got some good coverage here. What is um surf circle there? Oh, we got a Patriot as well. Fuck. Didn't see that. Okay. Well, we are we're hundred percent covered now. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a, a Hawk site that we didn't need to buy now because I didn't check the map. It's been a while. And we've also got a Patriot site. So we are covered well and truly for uh for Sam coverage for the next foreseeable future. All right, let's have a look. What can we schedule here? So first things first, let's get our AWACS um, is taking off. Let's edit this and uh, wave. No, 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 no. Edit. ASAP. There we go. Okay, done. So he's going to take off straight away and we'll move him. He can do his little orbiting over there. He's got SAM coverage. He should be okay. All right, so AWAX is going to cruise there. Now we're going to get our refueler. He's going to take off. Racetrack start. Let's move him up a bit because we're going to need him to return back to the boat. All right, and when is he taken off? Let's go edit. He's taken off 30 minutes. Okay, right. let's... Edit this. It's going to take him six minutes to get on station, apparently. And so we want him to take off just so he doesn't run out of fuel. Let's go 30 minutes from 30 minutes from mission start. Our AWACS is going to take uh, sorry, our refuel is going to take off and start doing that. And then we should hopefully uh be done what we need to be doing or very close to, and then we can come back and then use the tanker if we need it. Um now next let's set up some cap. Over the the front line. Um, Tarcap. cap. All right. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna send four Tomcats into the mix. Create, and they are on ASAP, so they're gonna take off straight away. Fly out there, and that's their cap range. Okay. Cool. There. Pretty much well and truly in the SAM coverage, which is also good. There we go. They're going to do their thing. So there's four cap aircraft. We're also going to, on this, uh, this objective front line, we're going to add flight. We're going to send in some. Let's go a couple of Harriers. Create. And can we edit these guys? Payload. Yeah, so what have they got? Maverick. Rockets. Rockets. What's that? Can I change the... Uh, use custom loader. Here we go. That's what we want. All right, so let's close that. Man, it's been a while. Uh, Cass. Okay, so Maverick. Okay, the twos. All right, so you can have a Maverick. This one. GBU thirty eight. Can we uh? So we could light um, triple rack. Apparently not. Laser JDAM. GBU 16. Where is? Oh, there we go. Two times GBU 12. All right. We'll go, we'll give him a uh, GPU 12, gun pod, targeting pod. Um, we'll give them two GPU 38s, another Maverick, and Sidewinders. There we go. That will do. Done. 
And let's click on those guys. Egress. What? Why are you heading all the way up there? No, mate. I don't want you to do egress up there. Don't go up there. Silly. Okay. There we go. They're going to come in, they can ingress, do their casts, and then they can egress. Egress. Back to where they came from, actually. And then nav back over. Who was there? All right, so that is our Harriers. We've got two Harriers um, and four Tomcats right there. We also, let's add another add flight, bar cap. Another four Tomcats. Create. Um, these guys can take off. Make it 15 minutes. Save 15 minutes from there. Race back start. Okay, lovely. And now ourselves, or the Hornets, the Hornets. All right, so we've got an SA5, probably not gonna get um, rendered in because of the, the cap zone or the uh, unit cull. Where is that? Stop. Man, it's been so long, I can't, uh... here we go. Show culling zones. There we go. Okay, right, right. Just want to check real quick. Sorry, guys, it's been a hot minute since I've done this. I've just got to try and remember all this stuff. Um, campaign management. Mm, 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 difficulty. BDA, off, 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 off. Can't even remember what I was looking for. Cull zones. Where was that? Mission generator. Here we go. Do not cull carrier surroundings. Cull distance 100. So it may or may not spawn in. Either way, if it does... Um, we're not going to be going anywhere near the SA-5, but you can see the range there. So the SA-5 is here, and its engagement radius is pretty much <laughs> the entire map. Okay, so that's a big bitch. So that's going to be a problem uh, for us at some stage, or well, problem for our cap anyway, because they're going to start getting shot down. So we're going to have to try and uh, deal with that as we go forward. Don't know what I'm going to do with that one. But... Okay, so we've got SA-15s, two of. We also have, in the area, an SA-9 and silkworm launches. We also have uh, ZG-23s, what else? A SAM rapier site. And also an SA-6. So, in terms of all those SAMs, we should be okay to fly at high altitude and take them out provided that our cap does its job and shoots them down, all the uh, enemy aircraft, which they've got 6F5s and 6F4s. And out of here, they've got another 14 Phantoms as well. So they've got a lot of aircraft coming up, but hopefully uh, eight Tomcats can thin the herd. If I can swear, I hope to God, I hope to God. So we're going to do this. We're going to assign ourselves a strike. We're going to make it a Hornet. One and it's going to be us. Where are we? There we go. Player. Um, and we're going to go create and edit waypoints. So we're just going to delete all these. Delete that. Delete. Delete. 
delete, delete, delete. I'll leave the bullseye there handy. Um, and we're going to go add waypoint. Delete wait one. Save that for now. Um, what's this other one called? Flounder. It's Estrella. And then the SA6 Wolverine. So Flounder and Wolverine. Okay. Edit. Edit waypoints. Add waypoint. What do we want? Flounder. Okay, so we'll take the Estrella. Add. Let me move these up and down. Be good if you could. You probably can. Hopefully you can on other newer ones, but be good if you could adjust the actual number. And Wolverine was Wolverine. We want the search track radar. Add. Done. All right. Close that. And that is us sorted. So we got two SA fifteens. A SA9 Strella and a, the SA6, and there's also a Silkworm. Uh, sorry, not a Silkworm, a Sam Rapier. Rapier Sam's out there as well. We do have some ships. We could, um, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's go AI flight. We're going to make it, uh, anti ship. We'll send two of them to these guys. Edit, payload, harpoon, 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 done, done, done. Yep, happy with that. And save. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll do a, a harpoon strike on those millennials. And then we got another one up there at Banda. We'll see how that goes first there. See how they go, see if they can get it. Anti-ship strike. All right, so that's pretty much us, guys. Okay, so our mission, we're going to fly up and try and take out the SAM sites. Okay, SA-6, an SA-15, and an SA-9. And I'm intending on using primarily JDAM, just because I can, uh, well, can't get shot down, especially against the SA-15s. The SA-15 will be able to shoot arms down. So JDAM for that, and then I will figure it out on the fly for the other targets. And then hopefully... We have some luck with the AI. So anyways, guys, I'm going to save the mission here. It is also going to be 2 o'clock in the morning, so it's going to be a night sortie. Uh, so we're going to be using Adfleopod. And, yeah, we won't be able to see much in terms of uh, enemy engagements, but we'll just fly out, do our job, and then RTB, and then pray to God that the uh, F-14s actually did their job. So I'll see you guys in the mission in a second. Through the power of editing. See you in a bit. Alrighty guys, we're in the jet. Let's get this shit happening. Everything's starting now. We've got Tomcat starting, we've got Hornet starting. We're gonna have our uh, AWACS starting. There's gonna be a potential red hot mess here on the deck, so let's get ourselves started up. Cranking the engines. Our two seed aircraft. All right, while that's happening, let's get ourselves a loadout here. So we're going to go. Ooh, bright. Bombs, two by GBU 38s. We might take, so we've got four GBUs, four targets, and we might take some uh, air to air. A120 Charlies. Air to air, A120 Charlie. Man, it's loud. Shut the 
canopy down. Tomcats are taxiing. Yes, reset, takeoff trim, starting our left engine. Turn that brightness down. Let's get a bit check going. I'll also, just confirm that we have got NVGs fitted. Once our left engine started, which it is, we're going to start our carrier alignment, stored heading. NVG installed. NVG installed. Alright, so that's that done. Bit check is done. Alright, so let's uh, bring up the old pilot body. And we also now, it's fucking bright, but you can see our, our comms. Okay, so link 4 isn't enabled in um, the current liberation that I'm playing. So we're going to be doing uh, all our case threes manually. We're not going to be able to use ACLS, but that's fine because I can't get Link 4 to work anyway, so it's all good. I still haven't done a Link 4 landing. So 225 and 1 X-ray is our tech in. So tech in on. Um, what was ICLS? One as well. On ILS, on data link, on data link. On IFF. On. Night. 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 Also turn those off. And put that to that. It's a busy deck. Oh, we got the ones now. Mm. Oh, looking so good. Hornets are taxiing. Tomcats are rolling. Oh, yeah. Looking at the goods. All right, Ines is almost done. All right, we're good. Uh, let's remove pilot body for a second. IFA. Right, uh, we can go ahead and just that. So we can take a pipe break off, Jeez, remove our wheel chocks. Alright, let's just wait for these guys to take off. JDAMs, TOO, E fuse inst, step, step. Alright, so we've got four JDAMs. We'll configure our air-to-air -air weapons in a second. So we want to be there on our data link or SA page. HSI waypoint one is our first objective, which is 86.4 nautical mile. It's all happening, boys and girls. It's all happening. All right, we're going to taxi on out in a second. Cap is in the air. Don't crash into each other now, guys. Come on. You've done so well. You've done so well. Don't hit each other now. For the love of God, don't hit each other. Okay. Doing a good job. I think we can uh, do a sneaky taxi out to cat number four here. Not hit anything. Taxi down to cat four. All those guys are all taken off still. So it's going to be a dark one, guys. It's going to be a dark one. Night sortie. to run down and locked
Oh, the wands. So much better. Are you going to tell me? Yeah, there you go. Cruising on in. Brakes on. Hornets going. Here goes our two anti-ship Hornets. Off they go. Launch bar down. Now flaps to half. Take off trim. Tension. Launch bar up. Alright, shooter. Send us on our way, buddy. Okay, let's run them up. Engines look good. Cycle and wipe out flight controls. Lights on. Here we go. Gear up, flaps up. Right. Okay, so we're gonna extend away from the uh, the aircraft carrier. We're looking at. Uh, five nautical mile. We're going to stay at 300 knots pretty much and below 500 feet just until we get away from the carrier itself. Once we get the five mile, we are going to go and proceed on our way. Alright, so we got Tomcats doing 1.2. Paul and ass up there. F-18s are heading that way. Here's our waypoint right there. All right, so we are five nautical mile. We're gonna go ahead and turn off throttle lock. We're gonna hit coupled mode. We're gonna turn that down so our ears don't bleed. Also, our weapons. All right, we're gonna quickly select air to air. Bring up our stores page. Okay, so size is small, radar cross section is small, auto for S mode, and then on our radar we want four bar scan, 40 mile range, 40 degree sweep, and high interleave. Press set to save, select aim nine, we want six bar scan, 10 mile range, 20 degree sweep, and medium interleave. Medium PRF. There we go, done, and we can turn that off. We're gonna bring up our FPAS page and hit climb. We're gonna marry these two up. So we wanna be climbing at 462 knots. And what is that that's lighting us up? Hawk sight, friendly hawk. It's angry over there. Ah, that's good. You can see the JTAC up there doing its thing. See shit firing at stuff. Jesus, what the hell is that? No idea what the hell that is. Doesn't look good. Right, so we are. Um, let's bring up our kneeboard. Comms. So we want. Overlord is on. Com2 Channel 2. There we go. 
when he gets on station. And then we've got our fuel tanker, which will be uh, taken off in 30 minutes. Uh, just going to put local time up on the HUD. And we've got our JTAC there. 1688. Doing his thing. Alright, so we've got 14,000 feet now. Fires are burning down there. Yeah, en route. 58 nautical mile. Alright, so air to ground on master mode selected air to ground is selected master arm is on let's uh, turn our radar on flare pod to operate we're gonna hit waypoint designate and of course there goes our autopilot that's fine and then we're gonna switch to flare Can't see anything yet because we're 15 nautical mile away. Tank pressure low. That's, that's always a good, good sign. All right, so Cap's doing its thing up there. You can see four ship of Tomcats flying around doing their job. Thirty point one five. Enfield Gwen One, Overlord Gwen One, Bra two seven four four one hundred fifty at ten thousand knots. Two seven four. And they are taking off from way out over there. Interesting. All right, we're gonna fence in. So lights are going off now going dark we've got our JDAM selected we have four on board e-fuse is set to instant uh, we're gonna go release type for this one is gonna be manual because we're gonna hopefully drop it in from altitude if we can get away with it because the uh where is it SA-15 is about max effective range, 6 nautical mile apparently, according to this. It's my little, uh, little knee boards I've been making for myself. So 38 nautical mile now, we should be able to start seeing some targets. We're just going to level off here at uh, 30,000 feet. That'll do. Roll ourselves out. All right. Let's have a squizzy zoom in and adjust. can see some things there still a fair way out but we can definitely see some stuff down there I don't know what the um what's the clouds looking not looking too bad 33 mile out it's like a pretty clear day clear night it's a little bit far away to spot stuff 30 nautical mile there's waypoint one and there is waypoint two. So we'll just uh, use our targeting pod to pick them off. All right, we're just going to slow down a touch. Because we're not going to have a tanker available until uh, 30 minutes. So another 15 minutes. We took off at 2 o'clock. Let's just get F pass page up here real quick. 0.8 Mac is what we want to slow down to. Let's go fuel conserve. Okay. Stores page back up. Uh, 
You can definitely see two tours down there. So we can pretty much just uh, waypoint designate on that, and that should be close enough. So we're a minute from range. We're going to pickle two JDAMs. Actually, we'll just pickle one because the uh, other SA-15 is probably going to move. By the time the JDAMs release. But 30 seconds to max range. So we're going to pickle one. We'll turn cold. And we'll just load her off and then uh, wait for the bomb to impact. And then once it's blown up the first one, this guy's probably going to move a little bit. And then we'll reacquire him with the, uh, the targeting pod. And ruin his day. So, so far it's quiet. Too quiet. Oh, there we go. We've got uh, some aircraft coming in. All right, 14 mile. We are in range, waiting for in zone here. In zone, and we are going to pickle the first weapon from the aircraft and pickle, and we're just going to turn cold. Just loader. We'll just loader. So we got uh, one minute 54 flight time till it hits that lovely little. SA-15. So he's not turned on at the moment because we are above his uh, engagement radius. So he's, he's pretty much not even looking at us. We drop down below. He will definitely start uh, taking a peek. And we're also outside of his engagement range. You can see the threat ring there. So we'll hit this guy. And we'll um, actually we'll head over towards the SA-6. Take that guy out. We'll come back. Come back for that a second SA-15. We've also got that SA-9 as well, the Strela. Just wait a minute. Flight time before that bomb hits. The old nogs on so you guys can actually see something instead of just pitch black. Just the brightness of them for you. So the uh, SA or the, the silkworm site should be somewhere around here. It's kind of just to the north of this uh, island. So SA-15, SA, uh, the silk wound, and the Strella that we're going for. Alright, I think our bomb should have impacted. So as we come around, we'll just confirm. See any burny burnies down there? Where is it roughly? It is right on our three o'clock. I don't really see anything. Maybe that. Still clear of uh, any cap, which is good. Just waiting for our targeting pod to come back into view. Let's confirm the target's being destroyed. Should we get a picture? There we go. She is a smoking wreck. Now 
the other guy didn't move. Alright, well. Well, we might as well go target two. Waypoint designate. We're in zone. And... Just cruising a little bit closer. Left a mile out. This is easy pickings when you don't have any fucking cap aircraft. I don't know why they're not coming in. Maybe we did destroy the airfield. Oh, there we go. Zero, zero, 003 for 50. Alright, we've got some company coming in. Nothing we can't handle. Alright, so we're going to pickle on this guy. Pickle. Oh, there's another guy here. Just taken off. F4 taken off. Alright, so let's um, turn... Let's go for actually... While he's taken off here. Waypoint 3... Waypoint 4... Wolverine, I think. Yeah. That's the one we want. Waypoint designate. Looks like our cub launcher. We're going to go for him. Now we got our fours coming our way. 20 seconds till launch. He's 18 mile from us at F4. 14 seconds to launch. Three, two, one. We're going to pickle this and we're going to turn cold in range and pickle. Weapon away. Head off to the south here. And just extend away a touch. Get some altitude back up. And that looks like our Strella. We could, uh, Probably, where'd that guy go? He disappeared off data link. Alright, we'll extend away. We got a minute 20 till that uh, JDM hits the SA6. Where's our little Tomcats? Where you guys at? Fourteens are over there. Angels twelve. Oh, there's it. There they are. All right. So let's see if we can drag these guys back that are chasing us. Let's level off here. Got two F5s behind us. 37 mile. I just want to see if the Tomcats actually do something. Right, so we've got uh, one bomb left. Fuck it. Let's just recommit. We'll drop it. And then we're uh, good to just engage with the air to air. And we'll just. We've got five missiles we can shoot. Coming on in. Is our SA9 Strella. And then we'll uh, switch over and take out these F5s. Alright, we're in range. 
And we are in zone. So, Pickle. All right, let's confirm now. Let's go to waypoint five. Designate. He is smoking, which is good. Three, two, one. Waypoint one. Alright, so they are both kaput. It's uh, dead, it's disappeared, it's not there anymore. Alright, switching to air to air. You guys are taking off from there. Zero, zero, 008 for 24. Okay, so that's that guy. These guys. Why am I not picking you up? Hmm? Hmm? Come on. There we go. We got what that is f5 all right so 20 mile good luck rank yeah he's only got aim nines so we'll just fly straight at him Coming at us hard, 980 knot closure rate. And let's go ahead and Fox 3, baby. Moose. Missile away. Goes. And she's active. I think I should start going defensive now. There we go. That is definitely an F5 on the flip. It's a good part about having the other flip pod. You can visually ID what you're shooting at. He should be a splash. Bang, he's dead. Alright, it's turn cold. Oh, we picked those guys up, did we? Who is that? Lost him. Well, apparently, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know why they're not coming up to play. 0.6 Angels 1. So they've just taken off. And they're 10 nautical miles from us, 2 F4s. Interesting, um, we should have pushed the Tomcats up a little bit more. They've just been flying around doing nothing. So we've still got four AMRAMs left, so... I mean, it'd be rude not to, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. They are 15 nautical mile from us. To us now, and we see them. Okay, got him. Auto. Twenty nautical mile. Those other guys were low still. 
so we will uh, again fly straight at him it's an f5 on nails you can see on the hud there f5 we'll fire at about 12 nautical miles just give our missile the best chance 1100 knot close rate and fox 3 up and away two seconds still active and missile is active old mate should be going defensive which he is So he's dead. Splash. Okay. Oh shit. Zero two seven four four. Get our two ship there. Looks like a hard to tell. I think it's a F four. So we got uh, friendly. Is that coming this way? F-14s are shooting at it. Doing Mac 1.6, baby. Yeah, looks like they're going evasive here. Just follow them along. We're trailing them both. So we'll just watch, see if that Tomcat's launched on them or not. Eight nautical mile. They're splitting here. Fox three. Tomcat's locking us up. Friendly. It's always nice. All right. Let's get off. Out to the south. Lost him. Splash. And this other guy's right behind us. Let's extend away here. Okay, stores, let's punch off our center line and our inboards. Man, trimming on this thing. Starting to get into a handful. Say so you got splashed by a Tomcat, hopefully. Maybe they've fixed the AI. Alright, so when's the next next closest one to us? Fifty six nautical mile from us. Alright, you know what? 
Fuck okay, it, we're just gonna turn over there. We'll see if we can find him. Pretty much go two seven zero. Roll ourselves out there. Attitude, hold on. And let's just sweep along, see what we can see. They're full nails. taken off just the radar elevation so they're at uh climbing through a thousand feet two ship taken off so we're just going to launch at one of them and then we're just going to turn cold and rtb because we've done our job Find him, there we go. Got him. 29 nautical mile. Just lost him. Okay, got him back. Twenty nautical mile. Looks like another tomcat engaging him as well. Come on. It's an F four. Yes, it is. Eighteen mile away. Switching to high, medium interleave because it's flying cold from us. And there's his buddy, Angel 16. All right, let's switch up to the the more of a high altitude guy. We're gonna get him 16 mile. He is more of a threat to us. He's climbing up through Angel's 20. And box three, crank and lift. Two, one, and missile is active. All right, turning code. We're heading back to the base. Away we go. Right, we're gonna punch off those other racks as well. We got one aim, 20 left for defense. We are RTB though. It's a splash, four kills, four air kills. Turn that off, we don't need that. EW on there. All 
All right, have we gone for fuel? 6,350 pounds. We're fine. We should be able to make it back to the boat. 67.8 mile back. Um, right, so we want Stennis, Com2 Channel 1. There we go. Alright, so let's check in with the Roosevelt. And it says Stennis. There's cold. Lights back on. We are RTB. Final bearing is 1-1. One, one. Expected time, 0-3-0-4. 22 DME, Angel 7. Zero four is when we're going to land. Okay, let's just bring up uh, HSI on that one. Hey. Don't you crash on me, man. Oh no. Come on. This is what I'm seeing. Oh no, guys. Oh no, come on. Get out. Don't tell me my fucking game just crashed. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to do it, guys. I'm gonna have to fucking close her down. It's not responding. No. I'm just gonna have to do that. Well, that was an abrupt ending, but uh, luckily it saves it on the fly. So we're going to go accept results. And there we go. So we didn't count as a death, thank God. So we lost the Harrier. Uh, they lost two F5s, three F4s, and a few ground units. Iran's lost. So we did some good damage. We only lost a Harrier for some reason. Something shot down the Harrier. Don't know what the hell that was. Um... Yeah, that was uh, unexpected. But we did our mission right, so and we would have landed. We had plenty of fuel. It would have been uneventful because my landings are always uneventful, right? Um, so, yeah, let's have a quick look and see if we took out our targets, which it does appear that we've done. So the SA-15s are dealt with. The SA-9 is dealt with. And the SA-6 is dead. So we did our job. Is this airfield actually... 
Runway's operational. Why didn't they take off? Don't know why they didn't take off. Runway operational. So weird. Okay. Interesting. Alrighty, guys. So our front line is definitely pushed up forward, which is good. Sam sites are good. Hawk sites good. And let, the only thing I can think of is um, the Sams were keeping them away, potentially. They weren't flying into the Sam threat range. Because apparently their behavior has been changed to be a little bit more smarter, which would make sense. You don't want to be flying into the threat range of the Sams if you can help it. But, um, yeah. But the, the good thing is the Tomcats didn't die. They didn't just get shot down. I mean, to be fair, we killed everything before it got to the Tomcats, but, um, oh, there's SA9 there too. Hmm. Oh. Any other threats? Why is that SA9 not coming up? Stroller there. And did they take the ships out? Yeah, they did. Ships are gone too. The Hornets did their job. Hornets did their job. They took the ships out. The Millennials were down there, remember? They're gone now. Yes! Everything's coming up Millhouse. Awesome work. Okay. Well, I'm happy with that. Even though it crashed to desktop, essentially. Unfortunate ending to the, uh, to the sortie, but we got the main stuff done. We killed our stuff. Cap didn't die. It was a good day. So all we're going to do now is we're going to quickly replace that Harrier that we lost. Replace. No, not him. We want the Harrier. Oh yeah, so we've got three Cobras. Might buy one more Cobra attack chopper as well. And yeah, we're gonna file save it. And that'll do us guys. So if you like the video, make sure you go ahead and like the button. Oh like the button, hit the like button. And if you've got any questions, queries, or comments, throw them in the description below. And yes, this is DCS Liberation version 5.1.0. I'm sure that, I haven't checked, but I'm sure that Liberation has been updated. So this was pre-Apache release. This is how long uh, this Liberation version has been. So we're going to finish this campaign off as quick as we can. And then uh, we'll upgrade to the latest version of Liberation, providing that it doesn't get uh, totally broken from a DCS open beta update and we can't can no longer open up the save game file um we're going to finish this one off and then we will get into the next version of liberation whatever it is up to so yeah any questions queries comments throw them in the uh in the comments below and i'll do my best to get back to you guys as soon as i can and if you haven't already if, uh, and you like the video you enjoyed the content and you haven't hit the subscribe button do me a favor and hit the red subscribe button it helps the channel out a bunch we're almost at four thousand subscribers which is fucking crazy so thank you to everyone that has hit the subscribe button if you just hit the red subscribe button right then thank you very much you legend and if you want to get notified when videos come out live from me make sure you click on the notifications bell and select all notifications and then that way as soon as a video does come out live you'll get you'll get a notification from youtube saying that a video is available for you to watch if you care about that stuff anyways guys thank you hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you on the next one see you later